Which <laughs> I don't know where to go. Can we try that way? Let's try that way. Okay. Hey everyone, Arian here from See You Soon Travel and welcome to Winnipeg. Now if there's one city here in Canada that knows how to fully embrace winter, it's Winnipeg. As soon as the snow hits the ground, the rivers freeze over, Winnipeggers come out to play. So what is there to do here in the winter time? Well, keep watching, I'll show you. To kick off this video, I have to highlight the most popular thing to do in Winnipeg in the winter, and that's to skate along the Nestawaya River Trail. The total length varies from year to year, depending on the weather conditions, but usually spans around six kilometers. The trail follows the Assiniboine and Red Rivers, with its most popular section found where the two rivers meet, called the Forks. Here you'll find a hub of activities and entertainment, a food hall, and places to rent skates and other equipment if you don't have your own. Want to try something new? Rent an ice trike from Kendrick's Outdoor Adventures. This low rider tricycle has ice blades for back wheels and will make you feel like a kid all over again. As you explore the river trail, make a point to check out the fun, creative warming huts. Each year, a design competition is held to select entries that push the envelope of design, craft and art. Artists and architects from around the world submit entries that are part warming hut and part art installation. The Nestaway River Trail is well maintained and shouldn't be missed on a winter trip to Winnipeg. If you enjoy living it up at a festival, then attending the Festival de Voyageur is a must. It's Western Canada's largest winter festival and takes place for 10 days every year in February. Festival de Voyageur celebrates Canada's fur trading past and French heritage and culture. There are so many fun things to experience and enjoy for the whole family. The snow sculptures are always a highlight. Marvel at these larger than life creations carved out of snow by local and international artists. Inside the Fort Gibraltar historic site, you can learn about the fur trade era and what life was like in the early 1800s. Live music can be enjoyed in heated tents all day and night. Of course, there are lots of activities for the kids or even big kids to enjoy. A glass of caribou served in an ice glass will help warm you up from the inside and you can't visit the festival without trying maple taffy. For those of you who love a good challenge, try your navigational skills inside the world's largest snow maze. Located about 30 minutes south of Winnipeg, the snow maze holds the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest snow maze in the world. It takes about a month to build the over 60,000 square foot maze. The twists and turns will have you trying to find the exit point for at least 40 minutes, but there's more than just eight foot high walls and dead ends. Inside the snow maze, you'll find five hidden dens. Each one is elaborately designed and carved out of snow, including a house and even a full movie theater. The fun doesn't stop there. Inner tubes and sleds are available free of use to enjoy the toboggan hill and pop into the snow bar for an adult bevy too. The snow maze is typically open from January to March of each year. For the foodies out there, don't miss the opportunity to dine on a frozen river for a truly unique culinary experience. Over the course of 22 days in January and February, a pop-up restaurant takes shape on the frozen rivers around Winnipeg. Raw Almond invites world-class chefs from across North America to put together a one-of-a-kind tasting menu. Chefs serve anywhere between five to 10 courses in a very intimate setting. The space itself is also part of the experience. Each year, the structure changes with the design team taking inspiration from the local environment while at the same time keeping the project's environmental footprint in mind. Since 2013, Raw Almond has been one of Winnipeg's premier culinary festivals, so I highly recommend purchasing tickets well in advance as it always sells out. If you're looking for a break from the cold, head to The Leaf, Canada's Diversity Gardens. Located inside Assiniboine Park, The Leaf is one of the newest additions to the grounds. This horticultural centre explores the human connection with plants and the role plants play in shaping our communities and cultures. It features more than 12,000 trees, shrubs and flowers, representing over 400 unique species in four separate indoor biomes. The Hartley and Heather Richardson Tropical Biome is the largest of the four. It has a hot, humid climate and showcases plant material from tropical and rainforest regions in the world. Here you'll also find Canada's tallest indoor waterfall, measuring approximately 60 feet. 
Next door, you'll find a cooler and drier climate. The Mediterranean biome features plant life from climactic zones known for their superb fruits, fine wines, and abundant crops. And the Babs Asper Display House showcases rotating floral displays and a vertical garden wall that contains over 4,000 individual plants. And lastly, three floors up in the Shirley Richardson Butterfly Garden, stroll through the space as butterflies float about. Now after all that winter fun, you've earned yourself some pampering time. Thermia is a Nordic style spa set amongst the trees and featuring world-class thermotherapy facilities inspired by some of the best Scandinavian traditions. In order to maximize relaxation, guests follow a circuit of hot, cold and rest. This cycle helps eliminate toxins, release adrenaline, stimulate the immune system and more. There are hot baths, cold plunges, saunas, exfoliation rooms and rest areas. Once you're done fully enjoying the facilities, head to the on-site restaurant. Locally sourced ingredients are used to craft gourmet dishes that complement the luxurious experience that is Thermia. All right, well, there you have it. There's your look at how you can enjoy the winter season here in Winnipeg. As you can see, there's a lot of activities and things to do that you can choose from. I want to give a big thank you to Travel Manitoba and Tourism Winnipeg for partnering with me on this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.